If you follow Aldi on any social media, especially on their Instagram or Facebook, or you're just an Aldi enthusiast and you get their ads, you know that this week is uh, Taste of Asia. Um, so we are gonna try the frozen sushi this week. I'm a little nervous. I don't think anyone else in my family is going to try it with me. Um, my husband's a little bit skeeved out by the idea of frozen sushi and I don't know, I don't wanna give my toddler sushi yet. I think she's a little bit young. I'm really excited to try it and see what I think. Okay, so it looks like sushi. It smells like sushi. Um, it doesn't look like great sushi, but it does look like, like better quality than the gas station sushi. Okay, so, so this is our Philadelphia roll, and this is our um, spicy crab roll. Oh, so that's actually really good. It's a little weird um, coming out of the microwave because there's one warm spot in it. Um, my microwave doesn't heat very evenly though. That's something I have trouble with with a lot of different foods. And one spot was still frozen. So I had one warm spot and one frozen spot. But other than that, um, I actually really like the spicy crab roll. I will probably buy that again. That one's still frozen. Okay, this one doesn't have a frozen spot in it. This is just a Philadelphia roll, so just salmon and cream cheese. It's not one that I would order um, if I were ordering sushi out, but for frozen sushi at home, it seems worth a try. That one's also really good. My cream cheese melted a little bit, um, so I might do maybe 15 seconds and 15 seconds instead of the 20-20 um, on each side. But I really like that, and I'm really excited to try the other flavors. Okay, so I have some time until dinner. Because the other ones that I tried were really good, I am no longer super nervous to um, defrost an entire tray. So I'm going to try the water bath method um, on these other ones and, sub so, and submerge them in uh, cold water for 30 minutes. I guess I should also mention um, that they come with soy sauce and wasabi packets. I don't like those on my sushi. I'd never have it, so I just eat it plain. But if you like soy sauce and wasabi with your sushi, that is included in the packet. So we're going to fill up the sink with water and uh, let these submerge and thaw that way. That way I won't have to worry about the microwave warm spots in them um, or any of it. I mean, maybe it'll still be frozen, but I think I'd rather have a frozen spot than a warm spot in my sushi. So these are the uh, California roll and the shrimp and avocado roll. I'm not gonna lie, they look pretty much identical. I think the ones with the slightly bigger pieces of avocado are probably the shrimp avocado roll, but I am also not 100% sure about that. Okay, so these are also good, but I would definitely be lying if I said that I could tell the difference between them at all. So I also like the other ones that I tried first better. I think the spicy crab is my favorite. Um, these are okay, but also this isn't one of my favorite sushi rolls to begin with. Um, so I wouldn't get this one again. I mean, it's fine. Um, it's definitely better than no sushi. I'm impressed with the quality of this for frozen sushi. I've looked at this a couple of times. There's one or two flavors that are in the store um, when it's not Taste of Asia Week, but there were, I don't know, four or five flavors to try from this week. So I'll probably go back and get another box of the Philadelphia roll and the spicy crab roll and leave the crab avocado roll on the shelf for one of you to try.